Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for an LG Multi-V system. The whole floor is down, well half the floor. Let's see what we got over here. C11. 1061 so this is gonna be error code CH 106 all right so I'm using the HVAC service business app CH 106 the error title is outdoor unit fan IPM fault error then it says an instant overcurrent at the outdoor unit fan IPM condenser fan motor All right, so that's smooth. It's not like the shaft is steady, excuse me, just stiff. That would indicate a bad fan motor. We actually replaced this condenser fan motor not too long ago. I have a video on that. If anyone's interested in that, video will pop up in your screen at any moment. Oh, look at that bug. See that guy? That's those things in New York that you gotta get rid of. These things are hurting the environment right there in the left corner little freak <laughs> get out of here he must have broke the unit all right guys shut this power down ch106 good old lg unbelievable these units just constantly break down talk about job security man <laughs> oh man what a freaking nightmare. As far as the fan board, fan board is behind here. All right, so with these kind of systems, when you're dealing with DC voltage along with AC voltage, you're gonna want this thing to de-energize. I'm gonna give it about five minutes to be safe before you start dealing with anything. We gotta get behind this plate. So we're gonna have a few things we're gonna have to remove. Get this out of the way. Now that we're safe, I gotta take off these three wires. One, two, and three. Disconnect those, and from there we could take off the one, two, three, four screws, and we can pop this open. So let's loosen this up and get back here. Uh, let's take off these screws. Careful not to lose them. Guess we gotta do this. Let's see if I can just lo loosen this one. Yeah, let's take it out. Come on. So I got these free, right? That's the fan board. Some sort of issue over here. All right, so the first thing it's saying, check fan motor phase resistance. This red plug is our fan motor. We're gonna check between U, V, and W. It says, if the resistance values are the same, the motor can be judged as normal. So it says the chassis is UXA 15 plus 7% ohms or UXB 13 plus 7% ohms. Not sure exactly which one this is. It just says UVW. What is UXA versus UXB? Anyways, saying if the values are the same, the motor can be judged as normal. So between any two of the three, we should be reading the same resistance. So let's start with that. Push down on the tab. Okay. Here's the three terminals. Put this on resistance. All right. Okay. So between any two, it should read the same. About 3.34. 
next two 3.33 and then the next two three point two eight so motor checks out in that sense phase resistance is good we could also do an insulation resistance test I got Christian coming up right now with the mega meter all right we're gonna run an insulation resistance test this is the climb tools ET 600 was recommended by one subscriber thank you for that so we're gonna do this test at 500 volts so they want you to test one leg very careful with this to the chassis Christian take this yep. and touch this here just careful don't touch any metal here yeah just then keep your hand on the rubber part all right over 4,000 good I'd be surprised if the motor is bad honestly all right next Over 4,000. Always want to wait for this to go to zero to move on. Still voltage in here. We're applying 500 volts to this. So I've got to be very careful. And over 4,000. Let that zero out. All right, we're safe to remove. Motor checks out. All right, so they want us to check the power PCB. It's going to be with the power on. I think is they don't show me anything with... It says with the power off, but it doesn't tell me what the resistance is supposed to be. So we're going to have to check this with the power on over here. It tells us what kind of voltage we're supposed to be getting. This... This is the main board. The power board is behind here, but the check is done at the main board. So just from experience, I didn't find anything like abnormal, at least just visually looking at it from the front. And I don't see what we're supposed to be reading with it on or whatever. So one thing I did was just pull this out before and look behind it was burnt out. And honestly, this is an easy board to like disassemble. I want to see what this looks like. I've seen this burnt out before. I wouldn't be surprised if it burnt out again. I want to see exactly what it looks like. And also I want to check that power board. So I'm going to squeeze down here, pull these out. That's disconnected, squeeze here. And we're all disconnected. And that compressor sounds horrible over there. Oh man, and we just changed that thing. I told him I need a follow-up. Oh boy. I just made a video of replacing the fan board, the inverter board, and the power board. We're gonna take off the four screws at the edge of the board and the four screws here for the heat sink. So I wanna physically look at this thing. So let's go ahead and take this apart. loosen these up but look this one this one strip man I mean, we could leave it but man I really want to see that I've seen this board burnt out before who the hell is here man maybe we can pull out the plastic with it and see what's going on because I know they have another heat sink in the back too this is the heat sink. Wonder if we can pull that out with the plastic. Just try to take off the four screws on the edges of the plastic. Can't get it out at all. I was able to free up this one. This one screw is stripped, man. Unreal. All right, so I have two screw extraction kits. I've used this one before totally didn't work for me at all and it's like stripped I think it's junk I have this Ryobi one it looks honestly it looks a little bit better I'm gonna give it a shot
once again junk Can somebody recommend something with the screw extraction kit because it's never worked for me oh man i freaking got it man unreal unreal let's let's pull this out see a burn mark right here little one capacitor it's capacitor right there remember a while ago we had the same same kind of issue what whoa there's water in here there's what is a bunch of water in here that's must that must be what happened why is there water in this control panel of course this thing is gonna burn out it's freaking water in here man look at that drip wow look at those drips wow there's also a fuse here while we're here let's let's check that short it out here the beep hear the beep fuse is good but yeah man let me take out this camera off look on the bottom here you see all that look at all that water i'm gonna see if there's water getting in here from somehow I know the unit sits outside, but it's supposed to be sealed. Look at these burn marks here. Wow. Now that I think of it, last time this thing went down, there was a huge storm out here. So somehow water is making its way in. And if you see it's cloudy, we had a lot of rain earlier and last night and this thing went down it's got to be from water but it could also be that power board as well we definitely need to take a look into that all right guys we're gonna leave the power off for this one we're gonna have to order that board and at the same time we're gonna order the power board just to have extras of everything because there's just constant breakdowns in here definitely gonna have to follow up on this i'm gonna leave the power off but what i could say you see this foam I believe this foam was supposed to go all the way across. So there's water getting inside here. And that's what's going on over there. So that's how we got water in there. We're gonna have to seal this up with something, some kind of foam. So that's that, that's a water issue. We're gonna have to change that fan board. And at this point, just to be safe, should probably replace that board, not even chance it. So when the parts come in, we're gonna follow up on this. See how this foam goes all the way across? How this one is just cut off here. And that's why water's getting inside. Now right, we're closing it up. And we're gonna have to order some parts as far as that power board, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to check that. But at this point, not even worth risking it if we know we need parts and we need to stock up extra parts in this building because there's just constant constant breakdowns look how many condensing units we have a lot we got 16 of the multi v4s and we got a couple of these i think this is the multi v3 these are old ones and somehow the old ones have yet to break down since i came to this building in about january 2023 is when i started we're now in august so about eight months of madness and constant breakdowns you need to stock parts here seriously lg has a ton of problems but we're going to close up this video here one thing i would like to show you i showed in the other video they're building this new building and we got a whole bunch of new beams coming up and it's honestly really cool to see but we're going to wrap this one up here two thousand years later all right all right guys it's the following day i got the power board and the fan board we are now in the 2023 brand new Pro Master 1500. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm loving it so far. It's been a few months. So we're on our way back to the job site right now. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the fan board with the power board. 
As far as the power board, we didn't troubleshoot it just because I didn't want to check it with the board disconnected. I'm not exactly sure what would have happened then, but regardless, it is what it is. You know, I'm not a parts changer. We are very precise with our diagnostics and repairs. Of course, nobody want to let you in. This is New York City. Anyways, as far as when we install the boards, we're going to do the check on the power board just so you guys can see how that is done. So let's sit in traffic, <laughs> make our way to the job site. And we're back. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's take off this panel. We're back in this section right here. We're going to start by replacing the fan board. That's the, that's the more difficult one. And we have everything open. We're going to wipe off the old thermal compound. And you know what? I'm going to take off this plastic plate right here as it's dirty. The new one is right here and it came with the plate, so might as well use it. This is the heat sink compound that was given by LG themselves. Let me start by taking off the four screws for this board. Gotta remove this. We're also going to wipe off old thermal paste. What a nice and clean surface here. Here's the new board. And we're going to apply little dab on this copper looking part or something like that a little something like that and we go ahead and put that on and I'm gonna start with the four outer screws for the plastic one two three four all right, everything is lined up. All right, get the other few screws in. Let's get to it. Next, we're gonna put in the little screws here. We have three of the original ones. We don't want this one stripped, so you gotta be real careful and put it in smooth. I have three of these original screws over here. And then I see, I actually have some extra screws here. We got lucky, so we can put in the fourth one. So you wanna be very delicate with this. Do everything by hand. All right, got all the screws in. Let's go ahead and plug them all in. This, this part is super fast. Okay, here. Lock down in there. Here is the fan. Here's this. And that board is complete. I'm gonna close this back up. Put these three screws together right there. Everything's labeled. And then we're gonna get to that power board. This is all back. Everything is nice and secured here. Everything's tight. So the power board is back here gonna do is actually loosen this up I'm not gonna disconnect anything it's gonna loosen this on the straps just so we can hang a little bit and let's see I take off the four screws around the plastic for the main board this is the main board power board is behind it There. Just gonna let this hang a little bit. Boom, there we are. Screws on the side. We have two plugs here. Let's see. Squeeze on the tab and pull. That 
that's that. Same thing for this one, okay. Get that out the way. Christian, come here. Just make sure this doesn't fall. A uh, fall. It's over here. They just have like these little clips. So we're gonna kind of just squeeze on it and pull. That's done. Try not to break them, you know. It's like a little piece that sticks out, so you just kind of squeeze on it and you can pull the board a little that's done a little trouble with that one Okay, and it's out. Any damages? See some like white markings around here, but not exactly sure. Maybe a little something here. It could be still working, but just like in the other unit, you know, you're supposed to get like uh, a reading between 4.5 to 5.5 volts for your 5 volt connection, but we're getting like 3.8, so you got like an under voltage. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and get the new one in. The new board is to my left. Old one is to my right. This green is a lot brighter. This one's darker. I now I'm noticing we have some stains here. But you know, we have all these little white marks on here. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is for the new one. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Leave a comment below if you know what that is. But I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So as far as this new board, I'm just gonna carefully bring it into place and push these in. I'm gonna line them up first before I push any of them. Push, 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 push. That's in. Come a little closer. Yep. I heard the click, that one in. I heard the click, that one in. And we're nice and secured. Okay. I let go. I'm just gonna get this one in place. Put those last few screws in and that's how it's done. All right guys, turning on the power. This thing is starting up. All right. So, main PCB. I don't want to check a few of these. Let's, it's, it says to remove the three wires, the red, yellow, and blue. But what I noticed is that I didn't get any difference when there was no problem. So, check both ways. You can check the first way to see with the wires in and take it out. See if there's any difference because you could be getting some sort of feedback so let's see let's start with this blue one terminals three and four which is the red and blue is your ground five is your five volt and 12 is a number six and the yellow wire is your 12 volt so let's go ahead and see also let's see if this thing starts if the fan starts so let's do some checks all right so we should be getting the one on ground and the next one we should be getting 5 volts between 4.5 to 5.5. And we got 4.97. And the next one should be getting to 12 volts. Maybe it's a bad connection, but I got 12 volts there. Okay. Then with the red one, inverter one is the only one we have. We don't have anything on the yellow. Four and five is ground, six is five volts, and terminal seven is 15 volts. So we should be in that range. So 
so we got the 4.96 volts okay so we got that and then 15 volt we got 15 volts that checks out as well okay then we have this middle connector here two is ground top left and then top right number one is five volts and then one then four down to the right number seven is your 12 volt so between these two we got the five volts and we're supposed to get 12 volts right there 11.98 12 volts so voltage checks are good and the power board is good that's how you check it it says to remove these three so take those out and check it at the at the terminals see if there's any difference if there's any feedbacks but that's pretty much it and the compressor started and there's no error the fan hasn't started yet but let's give it some time it doesn't run all the time this is a very tricky system oh did it try to start what was that what was that oh there we go and it just started let's get it let's go all right that's great that's a beautiful thing we're up and running suction line is cold that's what i'm talking about anyways guys we're running suction line is cold you guys can see it's sweating possibly but everything's looking good if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week Catch you all next time.